And this is the basic aim of the amendment. Yes, but this is the birthplace of democracy. And that's why I'm not allowing the Greeks to express their freedom of speech. Would you let him finish? You are going to speak after that. I'm sure that the moderators are going to allow it. But people have spoken. I've spoken in the United Nations Assembly in favor for accomplishing the main issue. So what we have done, to summarize, I'm sorry for speaking excessively about that, but as you see, there are young people who are very in the back. Oh, he's going to stay. I'm Christos Comsius. I'm from the Pan-Macedonian Association. You went and you said that um, uh, that uh, there were three Macedonians when in reality um, uh, when Serbia when Yugoslavia got the region of uh, Byram or Skopje as we Greeks know it today um, or Northern Macedonia as you, as you guys gave it um, it was called Vardarska Banova in reality and There are so many problems that occur within the nation, within our, our home, that we love. 100 years ago, kids, I'm 20, 100 years ago, our forefathers went and fought in the Balkan Wars to go and save these regions, to go and get these regions back into Greek hands. And now you're giving them ethnicity, language, and national identity, something that they don't have. Without okay. asking Oyon that. Dragumis, Oyon Dragumis went and said, a famous diplomat went and said, <clears throat> during those days, if we go and we try uh, hard and we fight to save Macedonia, we will save ourselves. And a hundred years now, whatever the generations before our forefathers did, the blood that they spilled in Machiske Gislachana, in Sarandaporo, and in so many other battles, you guys are undoing by giving this name. Okay. You violated the human rights of the people. Yeah. 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 You did. We do not want uh, any other blood to be spilled in the battles. Neither Greek blood, nor the blood of anybody else. And this is the basic aim of the yes, but what, I have the told, what I have said before. Would you let him finish? You are going to speak after that. I'm sure that uh, the moderators are going to allow it. But in order to have a meaningful dialogue, that means uh, that we must have a mutual respect of one another, but not interrupt one another. So we must have as a common aim to live peacefully with our neighbors. Okay. Should we have security? You can ask security, but I'm going to say. Please, no, you're not. Has anybody say. read the press back pre agreement? It's not yet agreement. Give me the chance. Give me the chance. Can, can you ask? No, no, no. Please, please, please. In violation of the law. I'm not. Please, please. He wants to answer the question. He wants to hear the question. Yes. I, I, I would like to ask you, although I know that we are crossing the rules, to allow him to, to, to put this question. I, I want to you're not letting people to speak here. Can I? Yes. The question is that has anybody, starting with you in the front, has the pre has read the press by agreement? Yes. yes. I have it. Yes. Okay. I have okay. Mr. Phillips, Mr. Coolidge, have you read this? Right. Every Thank word. You. Every word. So what did now, you understand about it? Now I would like to say. Has anybody? Don't don't thank you. Me. Thank you for your. Thank you for your. I was just going to ask. Has anybody? That's not a question. We all come here and I'm asking you. That's not a question. Don't interrupt, please. I didn't interrupt you. Has anybody? I'm sorry. You are out of order, Valu, and you are violating the terms. Did you not let me speak? History two, provided that they have respect also for our identity and the presence. It reminds you. I remind you that uh, this kind of uh, nation building is very much related to uh, what uh, to what uh, that's what uh, that's what we have said before. We must employ time. That is not easily accepted by the intolerant people. But tolerance must be the 